In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Everything was formless and void, with darkness enveloping the face of the abyss. Then God declared, Let there be light, and light emerged. Thus began the tale of the world and humanity. This divine proclamation marked the inception of everything we know, a creation act that not only brought the cosmos into existence but also imbued all creation with a grand purpose. In that sublime moment, light pierced through the darkness, symbolizing the triumph of hope over emptiness and chaos. Each ray of light illuminating the nascent universe reflected the Creator's love and wisdom, laying a solid foundation for all that was to follow. As God continued His creative work, He formed the firmament, separating the waters and establishing the sky. In His infinite wisdom, He created dry land, seas, and all the plants that adorn the earth. All these were made with purpose and intention, mirroring the Creator's order and beauty. The diversity of creation, from majestic mountains to delicate flowers, speaks of God's multifaceted character and His desire to reveal Himself through the work of His hands. On the sixth day, God created human beings in His own image and likeness, bestowing upon them unique dignity and value. He placed them in the Garden of Eden to live in communion with Him and to care for creation. This act of creating man and woman was the pinnacle of God's creative work, highlighting His profound love and desire for a relationship with humanity. We were made to reflect His glory and to live in harmony with one another and with the world around us. God saw all that He had made and declared it very good. This divine seal of approval reminds us that creation, in its essence, is good and reflects God's goodness. Even when disorder and sin enter the story, God's original goodness remains a testament to His character. Creation calls us to remember and celebrate God's goodness in all things, inspiring us to live lives that honor and glorify the Creator. In the subsequent days, God continued His meticulous and purposeful creative work. He separated the waters, brought forth dry land, and filled the firmament with stars, the sun, and the moon. Each element of creation was carefully designed to sustain life and reflect God's glory. The waters became seas, the earth flourished with vegetation, and the sky was adorned with birds and creatures of all kinds. This process of creation was not just a display of divine power but also a testament to God's goodness and desire to share beauty and abundance with all humanity. By forming living beings, God demonstrated His wisdom and love, creating an infinite diversity of life forms, each with a unique purpose. From the fish in the seas to the animals walking on land, everything was made to showcase the Creator's greatness. The complexity and interdependence of creation reveal a meticulous plan and a divine intention for harmony and prosperity. God saw that everything He had created was good, reflecting the perfection and order of His work. On the sixth day, God created humans in His image and likeness, endowing them with unique dignity and value. He placed them in the Garden of Eden to live in communion with Him and to care for creation. This act of creating man and woman was the culmination of God's creative work, emphasizing His deep love and desire for a relationship with humanity. We were created to reflect His glory and to live in harmony with one another and with the world around us. God saw all that He had made and declared it very good. This divine seal of approval reminds us that creation, in its essence, is good and reflects God's goodness. Even when disorder and sin enter the story, God's original goodness remains a testament to His character. Creation calls us to remember and celebrate God's goodness in all things, inspiring us to live lives that honor and glorify the Creator. By creating man and woman in His image and likeness, God conferred incomparable dignity and value upon every human being. Adam and Eve were placed in the Garden of Eden, a paradise of peace and harmony, to care for creation and enjoy an intimate relationship with God. They received the gift of life and the responsibility to govern the earth, 
reflecting God's authority and love in all they did. This initial union between God and humanity was a perfect reflection of the divine plan for a full and abundant existence. Unfortunately, disobedience entered the story, bringing the fall and separation between God and man. However, even in this moment of darkness, hope was not extinguished. God promised redemption and a path back to communion with Him. Since then, humanity's history has been a quest for that restoration, with God continually extending His hand of grace and mercy to guide His people back to His heart. Over the centuries, God sent prophets, leaders, and ultimately His own Son, Jesus Christ, to restore that lost communion. Jesus, by giving His life on the cross, provided the definitive way for redemption and reconciliation with God. Through His death and resurrection, we were freed from the power of sin and death, receiving the promise of eternal life. This supreme act of love calls us to respond with faith and obedience, living according to the principles of God's kingdom. The narrative of creation and redemption challenges us to recognize God's sovereignty and love in all areas of our lives. Each of us is called to reflect God's image, living with integrity, passion, and justice. In doing so, we not only honor the Creator but also participate in His mission to restore and renew the world. Our obedience and faith are a response to God's unconditional love and a living testimony to His transforming grace. In times of challenge and temptation, the story of creation reminds us that God is always by our side, ready to strengthen and guide us. When we feel weak or discouraged, we can trust in God's faithfulness, knowing that He never abandons us. God's constant presence in our lives gives us the courage to face any adversity, assured that He is our rock and refuge. May we live with the confidence that, regardless of the circumstances, we are under God's loving care. A life of obedience to Him is not free from difficulties, but it is filled with purpose and meaning. Each act of faithfulness and each step of faith bring us closer to God's heart, allowing us to experience the fullness of His blessings. True peace and joy come from living in harmony with the divine will, trusting that God directs every aspect of our lives. As we continue this journey of faith, let us be inspired to share God's love and truth with others. Our lives, transformed by the power of the gospel, should be a light that guides and encourages those around us. By reflecting God's image in our actions and words, we contribute to the transformation of the world, bringing hope and healing to all we encounter. As we continue exploring the Bible's story, we will see how God continually intervened in human history, showing His love and desire for redemption. From the patriarchs and prophets to the coming of Jesus Christ, each moment is a testament to God's faithfulness to His promises. May this journey through God's Word inspire us to live with faith and hope, trusting in the Creator's eternal love and the wonderful purpose He has for each of us. When God created man in His image and likeness, He initiated a special and intimate relationship with humanity. Adam and Eve, the first humans, were placed in the Garden of Eden, an earthly paradise where they could enjoy direct communion with God. Life in Eden was a reflection of the perfection and harmony that God desired for all His creation. Humanity was endowed with freedom, intelligence, and the ability to govern the earth, but also received the responsibility to care for and preserve this divine gift. Unfortunately, Adam and Eve's disobedience brought the fall and separation between God and humanity. However, even in this moment of darkness, God promised redemption and a path back to communion with Him. The story of humanity transformed into a quest for that restoration, with God continuously extending His hand of grace and mercy to guide His people back to His heart. This unbreakable love of God is a constant source of hope and inspiration for all of us. Throughout the centuries, God sent prophets, leaders, and finally His own Son, Jesus Christ, to restore that lost communion. Jesus, by giving His life on the cross, 
provided the ultimate way for redemption and reconciliation with God. Through his death and resurrection, we were freed from the power of sin and death, receiving the promise of eternal life. This supreme act of love calls us to respond with faith and obedience, living according to the principles of the kingdom of God. The narrative of creation and redemption challenges us to recognize the sovereignty and love of God in all areas of our lives. Each of us is called to reflect the image of God, living with integrity, passion, and justice. By doing so, we not only honor the Creator but also participate in His mission to restore and renew the world. Our obedience and faith are a response to God's unconditional love and a living testimony of His transformative grace. Unfortunately, the story of humanity did not remain unblemished. The entry of sin into the world through the disobedience of Adam and Eve brought devastating consequences. The perfection of Eden was compromised, and humanity began to experience pain, struggle, and separation from God. However, even in the midst of the fall, God did not abandon His creation. He promised a Redeemer, someone who would restore the broken relationship between God and humanity. This plan of redemption, initiated from the beginning of time, reveals the depth of God's love and His tireless pursuit to rescue and restore His people. The promise of redemption was fulfilled in Jesus Christ, whose birth, life, death, and resurrection open a path for reconciliation with God. Jesus is the fulfillment of prophecies and the realization of the divine plan to restore humanity to its original state of communion with God. He showed us, through His teachings and sacrifice, the way back to the Father. Through faith in Christ, we receive forgiveness and the promise of eternal life, a return to perfect communion with our Creator. This story of creation, fall, and redemption is not just an ancient tale but a living truth that applies to each of us today. We are invited to reflect on God's love and His provision for our salvation. In every moment of our lives, we are called to seek God's presence, trust in His promises, and live according to His teachings. The story of the Bible is an epic journey that inspires us to live with faith, hope, and love. As we reflect on these truths, may we renew our commitment to God, living a life that honors and glorifies Him. May we be examples of His grace and love, carrying the message of redemption to everyone around us. The story of humanity with God continues, and we are called to actively participate in it, trusting that in Christ we have the promise of a glorious future in the eternal presence of our Creator. The story of the beginning of time, as narrated in the Bible, is not just an ancient account of past events but a source of inspiration and hope for all of us. It reminds us that despite the difficulties and challenges we face, there is a loving Creator who has a perfect plan for our lives. Each day is an opportunity to draw closer to Him, to reflect His light, and to live according to His purposes. God created man in His image and likeness, initiating a special and intimate relationship with humanity. Adam and Eve, the first humans, were placed in the Garden of Eden, a terrestrial paradise where they could enjoy direct communion with God. Life in Eden was a reflection of the perfection and harmony that God desired for all His creation. Humanity was endowed with freedom, intelligence, and the capacity to govern the earth but also received the responsibility to care for and preserve this divine gift. Unfortunately, the disobedience of Adam and Eve brought the fall and the separation between God and humanity. However, even in this moment of darkness, God promised redemption and a way back to communion with Him. The story of humanity became a quest for that restoration, with God continuously extending His hand of grace and mercy to guide His people back to His heart. This unbreakable love of God is a constant source of hope and inspiration for all of us. Throughout the centuries, God sent prophets, leaders, and finally His own Son, Jesus Christ, to restore that lost communion. Jesus, by giving His life on the cross, 
provided the ultimate way for redemption and reconciliation with God. Through his death and resurrection, we were freed from the power of sin and death, receiving the promise of eternal life. This supreme act of love calls us to respond with faith and obedience, living according to the principles of the kingdom of God. The narrative of creation and redemption challenges us to recognize the sovereignty and love of God in all areas of our lives. Each of us is called to reflect the image of God, living with integrity, passion, and justice. By doing so, we not only honor the Creator but also participate in His mission to restore and renew the world. Our obedience and faith are a response to God's unconditional love and a living testimony of His transformative grace. In our daily walk, we are reminded of the importance of cultivating an intimate relationship with God, seeking His presence through prayer, reading the Bible, and fellowship with other believers. These moments of connection strengthen us spiritually and equip us to face life's challenges with confidence and hope. Jesus invites us to abide in Him, for only then can we bear fruit that glorifies God and positively impacts those around us. The story of Cain and Abel, for example, illustrates the consequences of sin and the need for repentance and forgiveness. Even after committing such a grave act, Cain was protected by God, showing that divine mercy is always available. This narrative reminds us to control our emotions and strive to live in peace and harmony, trusting in God's grace to help us overcome temptations and difficulties. We are called to live in a way that reflects God's goodness and mercy, demonstrating love and compassion in our daily actions. Our faith should be a beacon that lights the way for others, inspiring us to seek a deeper relationship with God. Through our transformed lives, we can testify to the redemptive power of Jesus Christ and the hope He offers to all. As we meditate on these truths, we are motivated to seek a life of faith, gratitude, and service, knowing that we are part of a greater story, one written by the hands of God Himself. Creation, the fall, and redemption are stages of a divine plan that culminates in hope and restoration. We are invited to participate in this divine narrative, living in a way that demonstrates God's love and goodness to the world. May we, in our daily actions, reflect the light of Christ and be living witnesses of His grace. Every moment is an opportunity to show the world the transformative impact of the gospel. By following biblical teachings, let our faith shine brightly positively influencing those around us and drawing them to the hope and salvation in Jesus. The story of creation, fall, and redemption reminds us that despite the difficulties and challenges we face, there is a loving Creator who has a perfect plan for our lives. Each day is an opportunity to draw closer to Him, to reflect His light, and to live according to His purposes. God created man in His image and likeness, initiating a special and intimate relationship with humanity. Adam and Eve, the first humans, were placed in the Garden of Eden, a terrestrial paradise where they could enjoy direct communion with God. Life in Eden was a reflection of the perfection and harmony that God desired for all His creation. Unfortunately, the disobedience of Adam and Eve brought the fall and the separation between God and humanity. However, even in this moment of darkness, God promised redemption and a way back to communion with Him. The story of humanity became a quest for that restoration, with God continuously extending His hand of grace and mercy to guide His people back to His heart. This unbreakable love of God is a constant source of hope and inspiration for all of us. Throughout the centuries, God sent prophets, leaders, and finally His own Son, Jesus Christ, to restore that lost communion. Jesus, by giving His life on the cross, provided the ultimate way for redemption and reconciliation with God. Through His death and resurrection, we were freed from the power of sin and death, receiving the promise of eternal life. This supreme act of love calls us to respond with faith and obedience, living according to the principles of the kingdom of God. 
the narrative of creation and redemption challenges us to recognize the sovereignty and love of God in all areas of our lives. Each of us is called to reflect the image of God, living with integrity, passion, and justice. By doing so, we not only honor the Creator but also participate in His mission of restoring and renewing the world. Our obedience and faith are a response to God's unconditional love and a living testimony of His transformative grace. Adam and Eve opened the door for sin and death to enter the world, dramatically altering the human condition. The perfection of Eden was compromised, and direct communion with God was broken. However, even in the face of the fall, God's mercy shone brightly. He promised a Redeemer, someone to restore the broken connection between the Creator and His creation. This promise of redemption found its fulfillment in Jesus Christ. His life, death, and resurrection opened a path to reconciliation with God, offering everyone the opportunity to regain the lost communion of Eden. The story of Adam and Eve is not merely a lesson in disobedience and its consequences but also a demonstration of God's unwavering grace and love. Jesus came to restore what had been lost, offering eternal life and the possibility of a new creation in Him. The serpent, with its cunning, approached Eve and questioned the goodness and truthfulness of God. Certainly, you will not die, said the serpent, insinuating that God was withholding something good from them. Seduced by the promise of wisdom and independence, Eve, and then Adam, chose to disobey God by eating the forbidden fruit. In that instant, disobedience brought a profound rupture in the relationship between God and humanity. Sin entered the world, bringing with it death, pain, and separation from God. Eden, once a paradise of completeness, became a painful reminder of a wrong choice. Yet, the fall of Adam and Eve did not mark the end of the relationship between God and humanity. Amid judgment, God promised that the offspring of the woman would crush the serpent's head, foreshadowing Christ's final victory over sin and death. This promise ushered in a new era of hope and expectation, where complete restoration would be possible through the promised Messiah. The coming of Jesus Christ into the world is the fulfillment of this promise. His incarnation, perfect life, sacrifice on the cross, and victorious resurrection open the way for all to reconcile with God. Jesus is the Redeemer who overcame the power of sin and death, offering us all the opportunity for new and eternal life. His redemptive work restores the communion lost in Eden, providing a renewed and eternal relationship with the Creator. The story of Adam and Eve teaches us about the consequences of sin but also about the infinite mercy of God. Even when humanity fails, God never gives up on His people. His promise of redemption through Jesus Christ is a testament to His unconditional love and abundant grace. This narrative calls us to trust in God's faithfulness and seek the redemption He offers. Each of us is invited to reflect on the story of Adam and Eve, acknowledging our own failings and the need for God's grace. We are called to repent and accept the gift of salvation that Jesus offers. In Christ, we find the restoration of our communion with God and the hope of a transformed and eternal life. Living with this perspective, we are challenged to be a light in the world, reflecting God's love and grace in our daily actions. By following Christ's teachings, let our faith shine brightly positively influencing those around us and drawing them to the hope and salvation in Jesus. Adam and Eve's disobedience was not just a transgression of a commandment, it was a denial of God's very character and the trust He had placed in them. As a result, they were expelled from the Garden of Eden, and the earth, which had been a source of provision and joy, became a place of hard work and suffering. However, even in the midst of judgment, God's mercy manifested. He promised a Redeemer, a descendant of the woman, who would crush the serpent's head, pointing to the coming of Jesus Christ, who would restore the lost communion and bring redemption to all creation. This promise of a Redeemer was a ray of hope in the midst of darkness. 
From that moment on, the Bible's story became a narrative of God seeking to reconcile humanity to himself. The Old Testament is filled with stories of men and women who, despite their failings, were used by God to prepare the way for Jesus' coming. Every prophecy and event pointed to the need for a Savior, someone who could repair the breach caused by sin. When Jesus Christ came into the world, he brought the promised hope. His life, death, and resurrection opened a path to reconciliation with God, offering everyone the opportunity to regain the lost communion of Eden. Jesus not only provided redemption but also demonstrated God's unconditional love and grace in an incomparable way. His presence among us was proof that God had not abandoned his creation and was determined to restore it. Jesus' life teaches us about God's character and his desire to relate to us. He came to seek and save what was lost, offering us new life in his grace. Through his death, he paid the price for our sins, and through his resurrection, he gave us the hope of eternal life. In Christ, we are made new creatures, reconciled with God, and empowered to live according to his purposes. Each of us is called to reflect on this story of redemption and recognize the need for God's grace in our lives. We need to accept the gift of salvation that Jesus offers and live according to his teachings. In Christ, we find the restoration of our communion with God and the hope of a transformed and eternal life. This transformation allows us to be a light in the world, reflecting God's love and grace in our daily actions. Our faith journey is a response to God's unbreakable love. Living with this perspective, we are challenged to be witnesses of His grace, showing the world the transformative impact of the gospel. By following Christ's teachings, let our faith shine brightly, positively influencing those around us and drawing them to the hope and salvation in Jesus. The story of the fall and redemption is not just an ancient tale. It is a living truth that applies to each of us today. We are invited to reflect on God's love and His provision for our salvation. In every moment of our lives, we are called to seek God's presence, trust in His promises, and live according to His teachings. The biblical narrative is an epic journey that inspires us to live with faith, hope, and love. May we, in our daily actions, reflect the light of Christ and be living witnesses of His grace. Every moment is an opportunity to show the world the transformative impact of the gospel. By following biblical teachings, let our faith shine brightly, positively influencing those around us and drawing them to the hope and salvation in Jesus. When Jesus finally came, He embodied the promise of redemption. His life, full of love, miracles, and teachings, perfectly showed the character of God. Jesus not only brought physical and spiritual healing but also demonstrated what it means to live in complete obedience and communion with the Father. Through His death on the cross, He paid the price for sin, and His resurrection brought victory over death, fulfilling the promise made in Eden. The redemption that Jesus offers is not just a return to the state before sin but a new creation. In Christ, we are made new creatures, reconciled with God, and empowered to live according to His purposes. The story of Adam and Eve, therefore, does not end in the tragedy of the fall but in the hope of redemption and the promise of eternal life. As Christians, we are called to reflect on this story and allow it to transform our lives. We are invited to live in obedience and gratitude, knowing that despite our failings, God loves us and calls us back to Him. By sharing this message of hope with others, we become participants in God's great plan for humanity. The story of the Garden of Eden and the fall of Adam and Eve is a powerful reminder of our own faith journey. We all face temptations and moments of decision that test our faithfulness to God. However, we are also constantly reminded of the grace and mercy that God offers. He does not leave us in our fallen state, but calls us back to Him, offering forgiveness and a new opportunity through Jesus Christ. This story inspires us to seek God with all our hearts, 
trust in his plans, and live according to his principles, knowing that in his presence we find true life. The fall in Eden shows us the seriousness of sin and the depth of its consequences, but it also reveals God's extraordinary grace. Even when we fail, he is ready to redeem and restore us. Through Jesus, we have the promise of a new creation where there will be no more pain, tears, or death. Until then, we are called to live as citizens of God's kingdom, reflecting his love and light in a world that still feels the effects of the fall. The story of Eden reminds us that despite our disobedience, God never gives up on us. He sent his son to rescue us, offering a living hope and a path to redemption. Each day, we have the opportunity to choose obedience and communion with God, knowing that we are loved and redeemed by a creator who tirelessly seeks us. This reality encourages us to live with purpose and to share this hope with others. Reflecting on the fall of Adam and Eve motivates us to recognize our own vulnerability to sin, but also to embrace the redemption that Jesus offers. The cross is the ultimate expression of God's love and his willingness to forgive and renew all things. In Christ, we are transformed and empowered to live lives that honor God, being light in the midst of darkness. The story of Eden is ultimately a story of hope. Though humanity failed, God provided a means for complete restoration. This divine plan of redemption reminds us that in Christ, we have the promise of a new life and a glorious future in God's presence. Our response should be one of gratitude, obedience, and a renewed commitment to follow His ways. Therefore, may we live each day with the assurance that God is with us, guiding and strengthening us. May we reflect His love in all our actions and decisions, being living witnesses of the transformative power of the gospel. The story of Eden and redemption calls us to a life of faith and hope, trusting that God will complete the work He began in us. May our faith journey be marked by a continuous search for God, a firm commitment to His Word, and a living testimony of His grace. In Jesus, we find restoration and the promise of an unparalleled future. May we live this truth daily, inspiring others to seek and find the wonderful grace of God. Just as Noah was called to build the ark, we are also called to build our lives upon the principles of faith and obedience to God. In the midst of life's storms, we can find refuge and safety in divine promises, knowing that God is with us and will guide us toward a future of renewal and peace. The covenant God made with Noah, symbolized by the rainbow, constantly reminds us of divine faithfulness and mercy. It calls us to live in communion with God, trusting that His promises are true and eternal. Each time we see a rainbow, we are reminded of God's commitment to creation and the hope we have in His goodness and love. The story of Noah and the flood is more than a tale of destruction, it is a story of renewal, grace, and covenant. It shows us that regardless of circumstances, God is always ready to offer a path of salvation and a new beginning. His justice is accompanied by mercy, and His will is to restore and renew creation. On the day the floodwaters began to fall, covering the entire earth, Noah, his family, and the animals entered the ark, and God closed the door, protecting them from the destructive waters. For forty days and forty nights, the incessant rains transformed the world into an ocean, but the ark floated safely, sustained by God's hand. This period of judgment was also a time of renewal, an opportunity for a fresh start. After months of waiting, the ark finally rested on the mountains of Ararat, and the waters began to recede. Noah sent out a dove, which returned with an olive branch, a sign that the earth was beginning to recover. When the ground was completely dry, God commanded Noah and all the inhabitants of the ark to exit, to repopulate and renew the earth. Noah's first action was to build an altar and offer sacrifices of gratitude to God, recognizing his faithfulness and protection. The story of Noah demonstrates that even in the darkest times, 
God is present and provides a path of salvation for those who trust in Him. The ark symbolizes divine protection amid life's storms, and the olive branch represents hope and the promise of a new beginning. Noah, with his obedience and faith, exemplified how we should commit to God's plans, even when we do not fully understand His ways. The altar Noah built is a powerful reminder of the importance of gratitude. After being saved from total destruction, Noah and his family acknowledged that everything they had, their lives, safety, and future, was a gift of God's grace. In our own lives, we are called to build altars of gratitude, recognizing divine blessings and provision in every situation. In His infinite mercy, God made a covenant with Noah and all of creation, promising never again to destroy the earth with a flood. The rainbow in the sky was established as an eternal sign of this promise, a visible reminder of God's faithfulness and goodness. This covenant reaffirms God's commitment to humanity in creation, highlighting His willingness to forgive and renew. Noah's trust and obedience resulted not only in the preservation of his family but also in the continuity of all creation. The ark represented God's protection amid judgment and the hope of a restored future. Through this story, we learn the importance of trusting in God's promises, even when we face immense challenges. Noah is an example of unwavering faith, showing us that obedience to God brings reward and renewal. As the earth dried and life began to flourish once more, God reminded Noah and his descendants of his covenant. The rainbow shining in the sky after the storm was a visible and eternal sign of God's commitment to humanity. This symbol of hope and mercy reminds us that despite the storms we face in life, God is faithful, and His covenant remains firm. He is a God of new beginnings, always willing to restore and renew what has been lost. Reflecting on the story of the flood, we are encouraged to maintain our faith and hope in God, regardless of the circumstances. He is our ark of safety in times of tribulation, our light amid darkness. Just as Noah was called to trust and was saved, we are called to trust in God's promises and live in obedience to His commandments. Noah's faith challenges us to be faithful amid difficulties, knowing that God is always faithful. His example encourages us to live with unwavering faith, even when the world around us seems to crumble. His story reminds us that God has a plan of redemption and renewal for each of us. He not only saves us from difficulties but also offers us a new beginning, a future full of hope and purpose. Noah's life and the life of his family after the flood were testimonies of God's grace and provision. They repopulate the earth, rebuilt their lives, and lived under the promise of the rainbow, symbolizing God's eternal covenant with humanity. May we also live under this promise trusting in God's faithfulness and dedicating our lives to serve Him with gratitude and obedience. God then made a covenant with Noah and all creation, promising never again to destroy the earth with a flood. As a sign of this promise, God placed the rainbow in the sky, an eternal reminder of His mercy and faithfulness. The story of the flood and Noah's ark teaches us about the severity of sin but also the depth of God's grace. He offers salvation and a new beginning to those who trust and obey Him. Noah's life inspires us to stand firm in faith, even when the world around us seems lost. His obedience and trust in God remind us that regardless of circumstances, God is in control, and His promises are true. May we follow Noah's example, walking with God in righteousness and faith, ready to respond to His call with promptness and confidence. The story of the Tower of Babel challenges us to abandon our proud and independent endeavors and seek a life of obedience and communion with God. It calls us to recognize that our true identity and purpose are found in God and that only through Him can we achieve true greatness. By submitting to His will, we experience the fullness of life He planned for us, reflecting His glory and living in harmony with His eternal purpose. The story of the Tower of Babel teaches us about the dangers of pride and self-sufficiency. 
When we try to build our lives and achievements without God, we end up facing confusion and failure. However, when we submit to God's will and seek His glory above all else, we find true purpose and direction. Humility and obedience are fundamental to a life that honors God and reflects His love and wisdom to the world. In our modern world, where the pursuit of power and fame often overshadows spiritual values, the lesson of Babel is more relevant than ever. We must remember that our greatest achievements are empty if they are not aligned with God's purposes. By depending on God and seeking to live according to His principles, we can experience the true peace and fulfillment He desires for each of us. Therefore, may we learn from the story of the Tower of Babel the importance of humility, obedience, and dependence on God instead of seeking our own glory. Let us be motivated to glorify God in all areas of our lives. By doing so, we will not only avoid confusion and failure but also find eternal purpose and the joy of living in communion with our Creator. The construction of the Tower of Babel was an act of rebellion that highlighted the fragility of human independence. They sought to assert their greatness without acknowledging God's sovereignty. This defiant attitude shows us that any human effort that excludes God is destined to fail. We need to understand that our true worth and success come from our relationship with God and our submission to His will. The confusion of languages and the subsequent dispersion of people, though acts of judgment, were also demonstrations of God's mercy. By dispersing humanity, God limited the potential for evil that could result from unity and rebellion against Him. This dispersion paved the way for the cultural and linguistic diversity we see today, a testament to divine creativity and the variety of creation. Even in acts of judgment, God's grace manifests, redirecting humanity towards His sovereign plans and purposes. The story of Babel calls us to reflect on our own motivations and to realign our efforts towards God's glory. When we put God at the center of our lives, we find peace, purpose, and true greatness. In our challenges and crises, we should imitate the humility and obedience that God desires. We may face metaphorical storms and floods, but God's promise remains. He is our refuge and strength, always present in times of trouble. The story of the ark encourages us to build our lives on the solid rock of faith and to act according to His commandments, knowing that He will never abandon us. Finally, the rainbow after the flood reminds us of God's eternal faithfulness. Each time we look to the sky and see this symbol of hope, we are inspired to trust in divine promises and live with the certainty that just as God was faithful to Noah, He will be faithful to us. May we seek justice, faith, and obedience every day, finding in God the security and renewal we so desperately need. Therefore, may our lives be a tower of praise and worship, erected not for our own names but for the name that is above all names, the name of God. By acknowledging our dependence on God and living according to His principles, we experience the true peace and fulfillment He desires for each of us. Let us live to glorify God in all areas of our lives, finding eternal purpose and joy in our communion with the Creator. The journey of Abraham is a testament to a life lived in obedience and trust in God. God chose Abraham to be the father of a great nation, a man who would carry the divine promise of blessings to all families of the earth. In an act of pure grace and sovereignty, God appeared to Abraham and called him to leave his homeland, his kin, and his father's house to go to a land he would show him. Trusting in God's promise, Abraham obeyed without hesitation, demonstrating a faith that would be the foundation of his journey. He left behind everything he knew and followed God's voice, embarking on a pilgrimage that would transform human history. Abraham's journey was not easy. He faced challenges and trials that tested his faith and determination. Upon arriving in the land of Canaan, Abraham found a place inhabited by other peoples and had to deal with famine in the region. In each difficulty, he built altars and called upon the name of the Lord, reaffirming his dependence on God. 
Even in moments of uncertainty, Abraham remained faithful, believing that he who promised was faithful to fulfill. In his journey, Abraham experienced divine care and provision in extraordinary ways. When he and his wife Sarah faced the impossibility of having children, God reaffirmed his promise, and miraculously, Sarah gave birth to Isaac in her old age. This event not only confirmed God's faithfulness but also strengthened Abraham's faith, showing that nothing is impossible for God. Abraham's faith was further tested when God asked him to sacrifice his son Isaac. In an astonishing act of obedience, Abraham prepared to offer his beloved son, fully trusting that God had a greater purpose. At the crucial moment, God provided a ram for the sacrifice, reaffirming his commitment to Abraham and his promise to make him a great nation. Abraham teaches us the value of obedience and unwavering trust in God. His willingness to follow divine direction, even without fully understanding God's plans, is a powerful example of living faith. It shows us that even in the midst of difficulties and uncertainties, we can trust that God is working to fulfill His promises in our lives. Abraham's story inspires us to place our trust in God, knowing that He is faithful and powerful to fulfill what He has promised. It reminds us that true faith is demonstrated in our willingness to obey and follow God, regardless of the circumstances. Like Abraham, we are called to be pilgrims on this earth, trusting that our final destination is in God's hands. By embracing this journey, we can experience the fullness of life that God desires for us and leave a legacy of faith for future generations. Living with the same trust and obedience that Abraham demonstrated, we glorify God in every aspect of our lives. In the time of Moses and the Exodus, the descendants of Abraham fell into slavery in Egypt, suffering under the harsh rule of Pharaoh. Despite this period of anguish and oppression, God did not abandon his people. He heard the cries of the Israelites and raised up a deliverer, Moses. Born under a decree of death, Moses was saved and raised by Pharaoh's own daughter, showcasing from the very beginning that God had a special plan for his life. Through a series of providential events, Moses fled to the desert, where he had a transformative encounter with God at the burning bush. God revealed his plan to Moses, sending him back to Egypt to liberate his people. Armed with the divine promise, Moses confronted Pharaoh with God's message, let my people go. When Pharaoh refused, God manifested his power through ten devastating plagues, each one challenging the gods of Egypt and demonstrating the sovereignty of the God of Israel. The final plague, the death of the firstborns, led Pharaoh to finally release the Israelites. The Passover, instituted on this occasion, became an eternal symbol of divine liberation and redemption. The liberation from Egypt was not merely a physical escape but also a spiritual act of God, showcasing His power and faithfulness. God guided His people through the desert with a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. He provided manna from heaven and water from the rock, demonstrating His care for His people in every circumstance. This time in the desert was a journey of transformation and total dependence on God. Upon reaching the Red Sea, the Israelites faced a test of faith. With Pharaoh's army rapidly approaching, they cried out to God. He responded miraculously, Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and God parted the waters creating a dry path for his people to cross. When the Egyptians attempted to follow, the waters returned and destroyed them, reinforcing God's promise of protection and providence. The journey through the desert was also marked by the challenges and murmurs of the people, yet God remained faithful. He gave the law at Mount Sinai, establishing a covenant with the Israelites and setting forth guidelines for living in communion with God and with each other. The giving of the law was a pivotal moment in Israel's history, as it provided a divine standard for life and worship. Despite the people's failures and lack of faith, God never abandoned Israel. 
he raised up leaders like Joshua to guide them into the promised land. The conquest of Canaan was a fulfillment of the promise made to Abraham, showing that God always keeps his promises, regardless of circumstances. Every victory and defeat served as reminders of God's faithfulness and power. The story of the Exodus and the journey through the desert teaches us about God's fidelity and providence. Even in the most difficult times, God is present and active, hearing our cries and acting on our behalf. This story also reminds us of the importance of trusting in God and following His directions, even when the path seems impossible. The journey of Israel from Egypt to the Promised Land is an inspiration and a model for how we should live our lives of faith. We are called to trust in God, follow His instructions, and remember His faithfulness at every stage of our journey. Just as the Israelites faced their own Red Seas and deserts, we too can trust that God will make a way where there seems to be none. When we surrender completely to God, we trust that He will lead us in every moment. This total surrender is an act of faith that invites us to rest in the certainty that He has a perfect plan for our lives. When we remain firm in faith and obedient to His will, we experience the fullness of His blessings and true spiritual peace. Trust in God allows us to face challenges with courage, knowing that He is by our side every step of the way. Moses, as God's chosen leader, faced innumerable challenges, from the murmuring of the people to the need to mediate conflicts and administer justice. In all these situations, he sought God's guidance, ascending Mount Sinai to receive the law that would shape the identity and life of the people of Israel. The Ten Commandments given to Moses established a covenant between God and his people, calling them to live according to his principles and reflect his holiness. The giving of the law at Mount Sinai was a crucial moment in Israel's history. This covenant not only defined the people's relationship with God but also served as a moral and spiritual guide for all future generations. The commandments covered all areas of life, from worshiping God to interpersonal relationships, providing a solid foundation on which the nation was to be built. The journey through the desert was a constant test of faith and God's faithfulness. Even when the people murmured and doubted, God provided for their needs with manna, water, and direction. The continuous presence of God, manifested in the pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night, was a visible reminder of His constant protection and care. This experience taught the people to trust God even in the most difficult circumstances. The final challenge before entering the Promised Land was the Red Sea. With the Egyptian army approaching, the Israelites faced a moment of crisis. However, Moses, trusting in God's promises, stretched out his hand and the waters parted, allowing the people to cross safely. This miracle not only freed the Israelites from their pursuers but also reaffirmed God's power and faithfulness in fulfilling His promises. The crossing of the Red Sea was a testament to God's saving power. When the Egyptians tried to follow, the waters returned and destroyed them, demonstrating that God's hand was upon His people. This event marked the final defeat of Pharaoh and the gods of Egypt, in a new chapter in Israel's journey. Every obstacle in the desert served to strengthen the people's faith and demonstrate God's unshakable faithfulness. The arrival in the Promised Land under Joshua's leadership was the fulfillment of God's promise to Abraham. Even facing great battles and challenges, God was with Israel, guiding them and giving them victories. The conquest of Canaan was a reminder that, although we may face great obstacles, with God by our side, we can overcome any difficulty. Every victory was a confirmation of God's faithfulness and an encouragement to continue trusting in His direction. Despite the people's failures and times when they strayed, God never abandoned them. He continued to raise up leaders and prophets to guide them and remind them of His law and promises. God's faithfulness is a constant throughout Israel's history, showing that He is always ready to forgive and restore His people. This same faithfulness is offered to us today, 
inviting us to live in communion with Him. The giving of the law at Mount Sinai was one of the most significant moments of Moses' leadership. There, God revealed not only the norms of conduct for His people but also His own holy and just nature. The covenant established at Sinai formed the basis of the relationship between God and Israel, a relationship of love, obedience, and blessing. Moses acted as a mediator, interceding for the people and conveying God's will to them. Throughout the forty years in the desert, the people of Israel experienced both God's provision and discipline. There were moments of rebellion, such as when they worshipped the golden calf, quickly forgetting the wonders God had done for them. However, Moses interceded for the people, and God, in His mercy, forgave and continued to guide them. This cycle of rebellion and forgiveness highlights God's patience and the importance of a leader like Moses. Moses' leadership also involved organizing the people into tribes, each with its specific responsibilities and roles. God gave Moses detailed instructions about the tabernacle, the place of worship where his presence dwelt among the Israelites. The tabernacle symbolized God's nearness to his people and the centrality of worship in their lives. Moses followed God's instructions faithfully, ensuring that everything was done according to the divine plan. The journey through the desert was a school of faith and dependence on God. The people learned that despite difficulties, God was their constant source of provision and protection. The manna that fell from heaven daily and the water that flowed from the rock were tangible proofs of God's faithfulness. Moses taught the people to trust in God day by day, a vital principle for the spiritual life of any believer. At the end of his journey, Moses climbed Mount Nebo, from where he could see the promised land. He did not enter the land, but his role as God's leader and servant was recognized and honored. God allowed Moses to see the fulfillment of the promises made to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, a testimony of divine faithfulness through the generations. Moses died with the certainty that he had fulfilled his calling and that the people were ready to enter the land under Joshua's leadership. The life of Moses is a powerful example of servant leadership, obedience, and unwavering faith. He responded to God's call with courage and determination, facing the powerful Pharaoh and leading a stubborn people through the desert. His trust in God never wavered, even in the face of the most difficult adversities. Moses showed that true leadership is based on dependence on God and obedience to His will. For us, the story of Moses and the Exodus is a source of inspiration and encouragement. It reminds us that God is our deliverer, capable of bringing us out of the most desperate situations. Just as He heard the cries of the Israelites, He hears our prayers and responds with power and mercy. God's faithfulness in the past gives us confidence to face the present and the future, knowing that He is always with us. May the life of Moses encourage us to follow God with courage and faith, trusting in His promises and obeying His commandments at every moment of our journey. May we remember that God is our deliverer and guide, and that He will never abandon us. Just as the Israelites crossed the Red Sea to the Promised Land, let us be motivated to walk with hope and determination in the divine providence and certainty that with God, all things are possible. Prophets like Elijah and Isaiah were sent to call the people to repentance and remind them of God's promises and warnings. The continuous presence of prophets during the reigns of Israel and Judah testified to God's love and patience. They were God's voice in times of crisis, reminding the people of His covenant and calling them back to the path of righteousness. Even when the people strayed, God never abandoned them, always sending messengers to guide and encourage them to return to Him. This dynamic of call and response serves as a powerful reminder of God's mercy and grace. The fall of Israel to Assyria and later Judah to Babylon was a tragic result of the people's continuous disobedience. However, even in exile, God did not forget His people. He promised to restore them and bring them back to the promised land. 
Prophets like Jeremiah and Ezekiel brought messages of hope and renewal, prophesying a future where God would make a new covenant with his people, written not on tablets of stone but on their hearts. The return from exile under the leadership of Zerubbabel, Ezra, and Nehemiah was the fulfillment of God's promise. They rebuilt the temple and the walls of Jerusalem, re-establishing worship and community life around God's law. This period of renewal was a testament to God's faithfulness to His promises, showing that despite human failures, His redemptive plan continues to unfold. Saul began his reign with promises of success, but his disobedience and lack of faith in God led to his downfall. The rejection of Saul as king paved the way for the ascension of David, a young shepherd with a heart dedicated to God. Anointed by Samuel, David became known for his bravery and faith, defeating the giant Goliath and winning the people's favor. His reign was marked by military victories and deep devotion to God, consolidating Israel as a strong and united nation. Despite his personal failures, David was described as a man after God's own heart. He wrote many of the Psalms, expressing vibrant faith and total dependence on the Lord. David's life teaches about repentance and restoration, showing that even in our weaknesses, God can use us for His grand purposes. His trust in God and brave leadership left a lasting legacy, preparing the way for the coming of the Messiah, Jesus Christ, who came from David's line. After David, his son Solomon ascended to the throne. Known for his wisdom and for building the temple in Jerusalem, under Solomon, Israel reached a period of unprecedented peace and prosperity. However, Solomon's departure from God's ways in his later years led to the kingdom's division after his death. This period of kings brought both great leaders and rulers who turned away from God, reflecting Israel's ongoing struggle to remain faithful. The kingdom's division resulted in the formation of Israel in the north and Judah in the south, with each facing their own challenges and tribulations. Some kings led the people back to God, while others led them astray completely. Despite frequent infidelities, God continued sending prophets to call the people to repentance and true worship. These prophets were God's voice, crying out for justice and faithfulness to the covenant. The era of the prophets was marked by powerful messages of warning and hope. Prophets like Elijah, Elisha, Isaiah, and Jeremiah reminded the people of God's holiness and the need to return to Him wholeheartedly. They announced both imminent judgment due to disobedience and the promise of restoration and redemption for those who repented. Their words still resonate today, inspiring us to seek a life of faithfulness and obedience to God. The fall of Israel to Assyria and Judah to Babylon was a tragic result of continuous disobedience. However, even in exile, God did not forget His people. He promised to restore them and bring them back to the promised land. Prophets like Ezekiel and Daniel brought messages of hope and renewal, prophesying a future where God would make a new covenant with His people, written not on tablets of stone but on their hearts. The return from exile under the leadership of Zerubbabel, Ezra, and Nehemiah was the fulfillment of God's promise. They rebuilt the temple and the walls of Jerusalem, re-establishing worship and community life around God's law. This period of renewal was a testament to God's faithfulness to His promises, showing that despite human failures, His redemptive plan continues to unfold. For us, the story of Israel is a powerful testimony to God's faithfulness and the importance of obedience. Even when we fail, God is always ready to restore us if we turn back to Him with a repentant heart. We must learn to trust God, follow His directions, and live according to His commandments to experience the true peace and purpose that come from a life lived in communion with our Creator. The era of judges and kings highlights the importance of godly leadership and obedience to God. Each leader raised by God had a specific role in guiding and protecting His people showing that despite human failures, God remains sovereign and faithful. 
These stories remind us that true leadership comes from serving God and others with integrity and humility. Deborah, a prophetess and judge, is a brilliant example of godly leadership. Not only did she judge the people justly, but she also led Israel into battle against the Canaanites. Her faith and courage inspired Israel's army to trust in God for victory, demonstrating that true leadership comes from obedience to God. Gideon, on the other hand, began his journey with doubts and insecurities. However, God transformed him into a mighty warrior who delivered Israel from the Midianites. Gideon's story teaches us that God can use anyone, regardless of their weaknesses, to accomplish great things for his kingdom. Samson, another judge, was endowed with extraordinary strength to deliver Israel from the Philistines. Despite his personal failures and mistakes, God used him to fulfill his purposes. Samson's life reminds us that despite our imperfections, God can work through us to accomplish his plans. With the transition to the era of kings, Israel experienced both glory and downfall. Saul, the first king, started well but his disobedience to God led to his fall. Saul's story teaches us the importance of complete obedience to God, not just partial obedience. David, despite his failures, exemplified genuine repentance and unwavering trust in God. His psalms reflect deep intimacy with God, and his brave and just leadership united Israel and established an era of prosperity. God's promise to David of an eternal kingdom found its fulfillment in Jesus Christ, the son of David. Solomon, known for his wisdom, brought great prosperity to Israel and built the temple in Jerusalem, a symbol of God's presence among his people. However, his compromises with foreign influences and idolatry led to the kingdom's division after his death, showing that wisdom without obedience to God is futile. The period of the subsequent kings was marked by an alternation between just and unjust leaders. Some, like Josiah and Hezekiah, sought to reform Israel and return to true worship of God. Others, like Manasseh and Jeroboam, led the people into idolatry and injustice, provoking God's judgment. The era of judges and kings teaches us that faithfulness to God is essential for effective leadership. Godly leaders bring the people closer to God, while ungodly leaders lead to decay and destruction. In all circumstances, God's sovereignty remains, and He continues to work for the good of His people. For us, these stories are a call to faithfulness and obedience. We must seek leaders who fear God and live our own lives with integrity and dedication to Him. True leadership comes from serving God and others, following the example of the faithful judges and kings. May we learn from the history of the judges and kings the importance of trusting God in all circumstances. Let us be inspired to seek leaders who are faithful to the Lord and to live our own lives with dedication to Him. In all times and challenges, God is with us, raising leaders and providing for His people, guiding us in His perfect will. May we be like Deborah, courageous in our faith and leaders in justice, like Gideon, transformed by God's strength in our weaknesses, like Samuel, obedient and faithful messengers of God's will, and like David, with hearts always turned toward God, seeking repentance and restoration when we fail. The story of the judges and kings is a rich narrative of highs and lows, triumph and fall, faithfulness and rebellion. But above all, it is a story of God's sovereign grace that, despite human failures, continues to fulfill His redemptive plan. As we navigate the complexities of our own lives and leadership, May we remember that God is in control, ready to guide, correct, and redeem us. True peace and stability come from a life centered on God and His Word. May the lives and lessons of Israel's judges and kings inspire us to live with faith, courage, and integrity, and in all things, reflect God's glory and point others to His redeeming love. However, with the help of the prophets Haggai and Zechariah, the people were encouraged to continue their work. 
Haggai reminded them of the temple's significance as the center of worship to God, while Zechariah brought visions of a glorious future for Israel, reaffirming that God was present and active among them. Ezra, a scribe and priest, played a crucial role in the spiritual restoration of the people. He returned to Jerusalem with a group of exiles and dedicated himself to teaching God's law, calling the people to repentance and renewal of the covenant. Ezra led a spiritual reformation, restoring the centrality of the scriptures in the lives of God's people. His dedication to God's word inspired a new generation to seek holiness and obedience. Nehemiah, supported by King Artaxerxes, came to Jerusalem to rebuild the city's walls. Facing both internal and external opposition, Nehemiah led the people with courage and determination. His leadership was not limited to physical reconstruction but also included spiritual and social renewal. He instituted reforms that promoted justice and obedience to God, helping to restore Israel's national identity. The restoration of Jerusalem in the temple symbolizes God's grace, which, even after periods of judgment and discipline, is always ready to renew and restore. The leadership of Ezra and Nehemiah highlighted the importance of living according to God's word and maintaining a community centered on worship and obedience to Him. This period was a new opportunity for the people of Israel to reaffirm their identity as God's chosen people. The message of the prophets, the exile, and the restoration remind us that God never abandons His people. He is always at work in our lives, even when we do not understand His ways. We are called to trust in His wisdom and follow His paths, knowing that He has a perfect plan for us. This trust gives us strength to face challenges and hope for the future. The prophets and the exile teach us about the importance of repentance and faithfulness to God. They show us that even in times of discipline and suffering, God is working for our good. Through repentance and renewed obedience, we can experience God's restoration and His guidance towards the fullness of His will. The persistent rebellion of the people led to severe consequences. God, faithful to His promises and just in His judgments, allowed Jerusalem to be destroyed and His people to be taken into exile in Babylon. This period of exile was marked by great suffering and reflection. The Israelites were uprooted from their land, their temple was destroyed, and they were forced to live in a foreign country. However, even in the midst of discipline, God did not abandon His people. He used the exile as a time of purification and transformation. During the exile, the prophets continued to speak on behalf of God, bringing messages of comfort and hope. Jeremiah wrote letters to the exiles, encouraging them to seek the peace of the city where they were and to trust in God's promises. Ezekiel, through powerful visions, spoke of the future restoration of Israel and the spiritual renewal that would come. Daniel, living in the Babylonian court, demonstrated that faithfulness to God could be maintained even in a hostile environment, and his prophetic visions pointed to God's eternal kingdom. The period of exile was also a time of deep introspection and renewal of faith. Away from their land and the temple, the Israelites learned to seek God in new ways. Synagogues emerged as places of gathering and teaching of the Torah, strengthening the religious identity of the people. The Psalms and other writings from this period reflect a profound longing for God and a renewed trust in His promises. The suffering of exile generated a new depth of faith and a richer understanding of God's sovereignty and grace. Finally, as promised by the prophets, God brought His people back to their land. Under the decree of Cyrus, the king of Persia, the exiles began to return to Jerusalem to rebuild the temple and restore the city. This return was a testament to God's faithfulness to His promises and a sign of His mercy. The restoration of Israel after the exile symbolized the renewal of God's covenant with His people and the continuation of His redemptive work in history. The reconstruction of the temple in Jerusalem was led by Zerubbabel and Jeshua, 
who faced significant opposition and challenges. However, with the help of the prophets Haggai and Zechariah, the people were encouraged to continue with the work. Haggai reminded them of the importance of the temple as the center of worship to God, while Zechariah brought visions of a glorious future for Israel, reaffirming that God was present and active among them. Ezra, a scribe and priest, was fundamental in the spiritual restoration of the people. He returned to Jerusalem with a group of exiles and dedicated himself to teaching God's law, calling the people to repentance and renewal of the covenant. Ezra led a spiritual reformation, restoring the centrality of the scriptures to the life of God's people. His dedication to God's word inspired a new generation to seek holiness and obedience. Nehemiah, supported by King Artaxerxes, came to Jerusalem to rebuild the city's walls. Facing both internal and external opposition, Nehemiah led the people with courage and determination. His leadership was not limited to physical reconstruction but also included spiritual and social renewal. He instituted reforms that promoted justice and obedience to God, helping to restore Israel's national identity. The restoration of Jerusalem and the temple symbolizes God's grace, which, even after periods of judgment and discipline, is always ready to renew and restore. The leadership of Ezra and Nehemiah highlighted the importance of living according to God's word and maintaining a community centered on worship and obedience to Him. This period was a new opportunity for the people of Israel to reaffirm their identity as God's chosen people. The message of the prophets, the exile, and the restoration remind us that God never abandons His people. He is always at work in our lives, even when we do not understand His ways. We are called to trust in His wisdom and follow His paths, knowing that He has a perfect plan for us. This trust gives us strength to face challenges and hope for the future. The prophets were divine instruments of encouragement and guidance, reminding the people that God still had a plan for them. The exile was not the end, but a period of spiritual renewal and reaffirmation of commitment to the Lord. God used this time to mold and strengthen the faith of His people, preparing them for the restoration to come. The message of hope and restoration from the prophets was clear, God had not forgotten His people. Despite difficult circumstances, He was present and active, guiding them through the spiritual desert of exile. This certainty that God was in control brought comfort and renewed hope to the exiles, encouraging them to remain faithful and keep hope alive. The story of the exile reveals that God uses all circumstances for the good of those who love Him. The restoration of Israel after the exile stands as a powerful testament to God's faithfulness and omnipotence, encouraging us to believe that He can restore any situation in our lives when we repent and turn back to Him. God is faithful to forgive and renew us, His mercy is infinite, and His grace is always available to us. The transformation God wrought in Israel serves as a reminder that He can do the same for us. Ultimately, the story of the exile challenges us to keep our faith alive and vibrant even in times of adversity. Just as the Israelites developed a deeper faith during the exile, we can use our difficult times to grow spiritually and deepen our relationship with God. With courage and determination, we will live in a way that glorifies God, experiencing the fullness of His blessings and the true spiritual peace that comes from living with integrity and devotion, trusting that God will guide us in all moments. Through obedience to God, we find our true purpose and joy. Let this narrative inspire us to glorify God in all our actions, remaining steadfast and dedicated to His will. The period of exile was also a time of profound introspection and renewal of faith. Far from their land and temple, the Israelites learned to seek God in new ways. Synagogues emerged as places for gathering and Torah teaching, strengthening the religious identity of the people. The Psalms and other writings from this period reflect a deep longing for God and a renewed trust in His promises.
the suffering of the exile fostered a new depth of faith and a richer understanding of God's sovereignty and grace. Finally, as promised by the prophets, God brought his people back to their land under the decree of Cyrus, king of Persia. The exiles began returning to Jerusalem to rebuild the temple and restore the city. This return was a testament to God's faithfulness to his promises and a sign of his mercy. The restoration of Israel after the exile symbolized the renewal of God's covenant with his people and the continuation of his redemptive work in history. The prophets and the exile teach us about the importance of repentance and fidelity to God, showing that even in times of discipline and suffering, God works for our good, purifying us and never abandoning us. Even when we face the consequences of our own mistakes, we can learn from these lessons and seek a life of obedience and faithfulness to God. In times of difficulty, let us remember that God is present, ready to restore and renew. His grace is sufficient, and His promises are true. Let us trust in Him, repent of our sins, and live with the certainty that just as He restored Israel, He will also restore our lives and guide us towards the fulfillment of His will. Isaiah, with his impressive visions, revealed the majesty of God and the promise of a Redeemer. His prophecies about the Messiah brought hope to the people pointing to a future where God would restore justice and peace. He exhorted the people to live in accordance with God's holiness, calling them to repentance and to trust in the salvation to come. Jeremiah, known as the weeping prophet, deeply lamented Israel's spiritual condition. He warned of the impending destruction of Jerusalem and the Babylonian captivity but also spoke of a new covenant that God would make with his people. This covenant would be written on their hearts, indicating an internal transformation and a renewed relationship with God. Ezekiel, with his symbolic and dramatic visions, brought messages of judgment and restoration. He saw the glory of God departing from the temple due to the people's corruption, but also prophesied the return of God's glory and the restoration of Israel. His vision of the Valley of Dry Bones coming to life symbolized the hope of resurrection and renewal for God's people. Daniel, an example of integrity and unwavering faith, lived as a faithful servant of God in a foreign court. His experiences in exile, including surviving the lion's den, demonstrated that God protects and honors those who remain loyal to him. Daniel's visions of future kingdoms and God's eternal reign provided enduring hope. The faithfulness of these prophets during the exile encourages us to trust in God even in the most difficult circumstances. They show us that God is always in control and that He uses even times of discipline to shape us and prepare us for His purposes. The story of the prophets and the exile is a testament to God's unwavering love and His promise of redemption. The exile also teaches us about the importance of community and corporate worship. Despite being far from the temple, the Israelites kept their faith alive through synagogues and Torah study, rediscovering the importance of God's word and communal teaching, thereby strengthening their identity as God's people. The return from exile was a time of great celebration and renewal. The rebuilding of the temple under the leadership of Zerubbabel and the restoration of Jerusalem's walls by Nehemiah symbolized Israel's spiritual and physical renewal. Ezra the scribe led a religious reform, restoring true worship and observance of God's law. The story of the prophets and the exile challenges us to reflect on our relationship with God. In times of disobedience and estrangement, we must remember that God always calls His people to repentance and faith. He is a God of second chances, willing to forgive and restore those who turn to Him with sincere hearts. These lessons are especially relevant for us today. We live in a world full of challenges and temptations, but we can find hope and strength in God's faithfulness. Just as He guided Israel through exile and restoration, he will guide us in our own journeys of faith. May we be inspired by the courage and dedication of the prophets. Let our lives reflect God's grace and truth, 
and may we be messengers of hope and restoration to those around us. In everything, let our trust be firmly anchored in God, knowing that He is faithful to fulfill all His promises. The promises of reward for those who overcome serve as a powerful incentive for all believers, reminding us that our struggle is not in vain. God sees our deeds and rewards us according to His justice. The vision of the New Jerusalem in Revelation is a powerful image of Christian hope. John describes a city where God dwells with His people, free from pain, suffering, and death. This final vision of redemption and perfect communion with God inspires believers to persevere, keeping their eyes fixed on the promise of eternal life. The New Jerusalem represents the culmination of God's redemptive plan, where all things are renewed. Throughout the centuries, the Church has continued to face challenges but has also experienced renewals and revivals. Movements of reform and spiritual awakening have reignited the flame of faith in various times and places. The history of the Church is a testament to God's faithfulness and the transformative power of the Gospel. Each generation of believers contributes to the grand narrative of redemption, carrying forward the message of Christ. In modern times, the Church is called to be light and salt in an increasingly challenging world. The mission to evangelize, serve, and love continues to adapt to new social and cultural realities. Technology and globalization present new opportunities and challenges, but the essence of the mission remains the same, to make disciples of all nations, baptizing them and teaching them to obey everything Jesus commanded. The promise of Christ's return is a continuous source of hope for the Church. We live in anticipation of His coming, working diligently while we await the fulfillment of all promises. This hope motivates believers to live holy lives, dedicated to serving God and others. The certainty of Jesus' return inspires us to persevere in faith and share the good news with everyone. One of the most inspiring promises of Revelation is the vision of a new heaven and a new earth. John saw a holy city, the new Jerusalem, descending from heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. In this vision, God will dwell with his people, and every tear will be wiped away. There will be no more crying or pain, for the old order of things will have passed away. This promise fills us with hope and motivates us to persevere in faith during times of tribulation and uncertainty. The Word of God is a firm anchor for our souls, assuring us that despite the circumstances, God is in control and works all things for the good of those who love Him. Our faith is not in vain because we know the end of the story has already been written, and it is a story of victory and glory. The hope we have in the glorious future propels us to live with courage and determination in the present. We know that even in the face of adversity, God is faithful, and His promises are true. Every challenge we face is an opportunity to testify to God's power and love in our lives. Revelation reminds us that we are in a spiritual battle, but it also guarantees our final victory in Christ. The visions of judgment and triumph encourage us to remain steadfast in faith, knowing that our Lord is with us and will give us the strength needed to persevere until the end. This certainty fills us with joy and peace, even in the most difficult circumstances. We can trust that God is working for our good and that He has a perfect plan for our lives. The promise of a new heaven and a new earth gives us an eternal perspective that sustains us amidst life's storms. Living with this hope, we are called to be light in a dark world. Our lives should reflect God's glory and draw others to His salvation. Every act of love, every word of encouragement, and every moment of faith are powerful testimonies to the coming kingdom of God. May we live with the confidence that God is writing our story and that in the end, we will be victorious with Him. Let us keep our eyes fixed on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, and let His promise of redemption guide us every step of our journey. Remember that God is with us, that He is our hope and salvation. 
Let the book of Revelation inspire us to live with purpose and to share the message of love and hope with everyone around us. With the certainty that the final victory is ours, let us move forward with courage and faith, trusting fully in God's promises. The era of the church is a journey of faith and expectation for the fulfillment of these promises. We are called to be the light of the world and the salt of the earth, living in a way that glorifies God and draws others to salvation in Christ. Every act of love, every testimony of faith, and every moment of worship are steps toward the realization of God's eternal plan. The story of the church continues to be written by those who faithfully follow Jesus. In times of difficulty and uncertainty, Revelation reminds us that God is present and that He has a perfect plan. We are challenged to keep our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. The certainty of a new heaven and a new earth gives us strength to face life's challenges with courage and confidence, knowing that our hope is grounded in God's promise. May the story of the church and the vision of Revelation inspire us to live with fervor and purpose. May we be faithful witnesses of Christ's love, proclaiming the gospel to the ends of the earth. As we await the fulfillment of God's promises, let us live with the hope that one day we will be eternally with the Lord, enjoying the fullness of His presence and His incomparable love. The era of the church is not just a historical period but a continuous call to action and faith. It is an invitation for each of us to participate in God's mission in the world, sharing the good news of Jesus and living as examples of His transformative love in our communities, workplaces, and families. We are ambassadors of Christ, reflecting His grace and truth. As we look to the future, Revelation offers us a vision of hope and victory. It reminds us that no matter the trials we face, God is sovereign, and His redemptive plan will be fulfilled. This certainty empowers us to live with joy and purpose, trusting in God's faithfulness and the security of His eternal promise. May we continue the church's journey with unwavering faith, inspired by the prophetic visions of revelation and committed to being a light in the world. In every challenge, may our response be one of love, service, and devotion to God, knowing that our labor in the Lord is not in vain and that one day we will join the great multitude of believers from all ages, worshiping God in the New Jerusalem, where we will reign with Him forever. The era of the church and the message of Revelation call us to a life of active hope and joyful expectation. We are part of a greater story, written by God Himself, and each of us has a vital role to play. With our eyes fixed on Jesus and our hearts filled with His Spirit, let us move forward with confidence, knowing that the best is yet to come. Thank you for watching our video. We hope that the story of the church in Revelation has inspired your faith. Share this content with your friends and family to spread hope and encouragement. Don't forget to watch the next video that will appear on the screen. God bless you.